This is Kelly from Rue Pursuit Junk Journals. And I have, sorry about my nail polish. It always comes off the fingers first, sorry. <laughs> the rest of it looks okay. <laughs> Squirrel, all right. <laughs> That's what kind of day it's gonna be. We're doing a fun project. We're, I'm calling this the Sabrina Taylor tag. So Sabrina, uh, her YouTube channel, she showed me this did this uh tutorial on this tag and i don't know i like i want to call it like a magic trick because i can't i really can't believe how many flips flaps and folds i'm going to do a simplified version of it so it's a little quicker this is also going to be a retreat make and take i think we're at like maybe number seven i lost count i'll try to update it in the in the title of the video <laughs> So I know which, which, which one it is for Pete's sake. Okay. So this tag, it kind of goes like this. You've got the front here and you can flip it up and then I put a little pocket here, but you can also flip it open and flip it up. Yes. Now Sabrina's has even more flips and you're like, it's just a tag. But then all of a sudden things keep happening. And there's more and more and more. So this is what we're going to show you how to do today. And if you feel, I, I definitely recommend going over there and checking out Sabrina's channel. Um, her, She has a very nice channel. I would say that she's more like, I'm like a maximalist, kind of rough around the edges. She's very like clean lines and everything is very precise. She's a really good measurer. I don't do the measuring so much so if you are into that sort of thing I think probably like similar to like pink strawberries YouTube channel and uh, Rach and Bella so if you like those uh, my porch prints Angela Kerr that sort of line of of uh, youtubers uh, she's more in line with those kind of kind of youtubers so if you like that sort of style, then Sabrina might just be the thing for you. Okay. Although I can appreciate all different kinds. I watch them all. I really do. <laughs> okay. So for the base, what kind of paper are we using? You can use book page. You can use, I've got this double-sided scrapbooking paper. I think it's considered like eight by eight, maybe. I measured it. It's like eight by eight and a half or something i don't know i think it's supposed to be eight by eight uh so that works really good it's like a little bit less than cardstock lighter some people know like pounds the poundage of paper i pretty much have three categories of paper uh light paper <laughs> like book page paper uh cardstock and cereal box those are my categories. <laughs> I've got some double-sided uh, dyed paper and stenciled, so you could you could definitely use dyed paper for it. I've got another little. Oh, that's not for the for that. And then I've got a twelve by twelve, so we might just do a twelve by twelve just so you can kind of see what that would be like. But the concept is the same for my kind of measuring, relational measuring. That's the process we're going to use today. Now, uh, when you do this, you're pretty much going to fold it in fourths, like, like that. But you'll notice that would be kind of a really wide tag. So we're just going to take the side of this and tear off a strip. We're going to save the strip also. So keep it on hand. Don't, oh, you got to flip your ruler around. Come on, come on, get it, get it together. No, <laughs> there we go. So save the strip you can use it you don't have to but you can then you're just going to fold it in half this way and fold it in half this way yep that's it that's what we do now we're done no just kidding uh then you want to you want to trim off the corner probably the one with the most folds on it so we'll just where do we want our tag to be kind of like that you just take that piece over to the other side and use that as your little template for your tag corners. Yep. And then you've got some fun little scraps. Let's see. I like looking at these. They're just fun to look at. 
How cute. What a cute little piece of paper. Yep, I'm going to save it. Okay. It's, it's fine. I have a little drawer for that. So, now, now you can fold it open and you've got this. Yeah, pretty easy, right? Then you want to take one end and just cut that part. Yeah. Just that part. Right along there. And you've got this. Now you want to figure out where your front is. So let's just say I want this to be my front. Then you can kind of open it open. Take this back piece and flip it forward. And close it. So now you've got this flip up and then you open it like that and then you've got this flip. Now like I said Sabrina's she adds more flips. I know right but this is you know how we're gonna do it today a simplified version. So that is our base. How easy was that? Then you take your little strip your strippy scrappy business and you just fold it in half exact and then you've got two little pieces so what i want to do is use that to make a little oh isn't that interesting it's like the same line let's see what happens let's use this one on here and then we'll use that one on on the other side i'm just going to do this it looks to me I know it should be the same height but I trimmed some off the other one I'm just gonna do that again just like a millimeter just a little sliver a little millimeter and then and then I'm gonna glue that on. it's just gonna be a little belly band pocket yeah how cute is that And then we're cooking. Okay, so we've got that. Okay, just one more look. Oh. Doo -doo -doo. Pocket. Flip it open, and then you can decide where you want this one. It could go here, or you could flip it open, put it on here. So I just kind of see how I like the paper and how and where I want that little piece to go. I do, I seem to be always trimming off that millimeter every single one. Just kind of helps a little bit with the folding situation. So we're gonna do that. And shorter is better than too long. That's what I say. I just go right down to the, oh, don't do that. Don't, don't do it like that. <laughs> That's not it. <laughs> there we go. Here we go, loop de loo. And that is our base. Isn't that fun? Now I like to just go in my stash and find a cluster. So I'll just grab a pile of clusters. Hold on. Oh, I can't get it. These boards are really stuck together. Oh, goodness. All right. We're going to use some big clusters. Those are tiny ones. These ones are pretty small also. These are really miscellaneous, but also not that big. Okay, we've got our little scrabbles. We've got... It's kind of nice. A little green with the red back there, maybe. Which way does this go? It's like this way. I kind of like that. Okay. We got one. We decided. Put my cluster bin away. And we'll just glue it down. And then that just gives us a visual cue as to what the front of our tag is. And then that's that helps us keep our, our tag organized. I like to have some pre-made clusters like this on hand just so I can grab them when I have a project. And then otherwise I get too distracted by that design process and I get, I get really 
it, and then it ends up taking an hour. So then let's make a little notebook. That's what that little sheet of paper was that I, this one. I'm gonna make a little scrappy mini notebook. I'm gonna take this sheet and do tear it this way, I think. I don't know why this, I'm having tearing problems with this, this one today. Hmm. We'll try it again. You can do it. Just push, put a little pressure on. Use your muscles. I thought I did measure this so that it wouldn't be too wide, but it looks like it might be a little wide. Hold on, I'm going to, I'm going to make it skinnier. There we go. Now we'll, now we'll split her in half. And I like to do six. So six sheets. So six sheets out of one. And then we've got a happy scrappy little notebook. Just like this. Line that thing up. Very good. We could even add a little topper on it if we wanted to. Oh, we're getting fancy today. Yeah, let's do that. Just do a little boldy over. Foldy over business. Get our, our edge right. So this is gonna make it look like our notebook's a little taller than it really is. We'll use our little stapler. Will it fit? Oh, sure, sure, sure. Just make sure you get all your your paper bits in there. Don't want to miss any. And then go over to this side. Go in the middle. And that is our little notebook. And we can just pop it right in here somewhere. I know it's hard to decide because these are so cute. I know, no, I, I think this is too wide. What? It's fine. <laughs> it's still too wide. <laughs> That's okay. We'll just trim it as we go. I don't like that corner there. I didn't like it. You're going in the garbage. Look at, look at me throwing stuff away. And then we can just glue that right in there. Just glue this top section, and I don't have to worry about any of my papers. My papers getting lost in the wind. A little fabric. I know, that's my new thing. Add fabric everywhere. And look at my fabric glue finally made it to my desk, and I cut the little nibby tip off. I got this for $2 at the Hobby Lobby, which I thought was... A very good price. It was like $1.99, I believe. Smooth that around. Just a little, little scrap of fabric. Where's my cap? Don't lose your cap. I know I'm gonna have to do something about that so I don't add a little topper to that thing. And then what you want to do for your tail if you want a little little something something on the top. I had I had thought I had a little piece here. This blue is pretty. Let's do it. We'll just make it make a make a new one. Uh, do we need it that big? Want it to go this way, I think. Yeah, I think so. So we're just gluing this on because we're not really going through because we don't want to interfere with any of our of our layers of these tags. So we're just l basically laying it on the front of the tag. And then we're also, don't forget to glue this, <laughs> the tag to itself. Ah, oh, that works a lot better like that. <laughs> Try to stagger it a little. There we go. And then we've got, let be up this way. And I flip you over here, and then flip up this way, and this part right here. And a little notebook. Those are so easy, aren't they? 
we're only 15 minutes in let's do let's just do a couple more so what you what you want to do is i love this paper and i hardly ever get to use it i'm going to use my paper cutter i did get a new paper cutter thank you to april who who uh got me some the equivalent of coffees on my coffee um, how, how wide do i want these like that she got me six coffees or one tim holtz paper trimmer look at how slick that is so with this one this one's okay i did buy it on amazon the link i'll put in the description below but uh, this one i'm always like fussing with this thing going like which direction i don't know i don't know what it is and then i go back and forth and it's okay it's really a good cutter but this thing is slick yes it is yes it is okay so we've got this this is going to be our four so we just fold it in half and burnish burnish your corners make sure you've got your burnisher or your fingernail you could probably go both ways with it where is my burnishing tool i don't know sometimes you can use your ruler as a burnishing tool FYI. Today is the day for that to happen. And then we also need to fold it this way. Ooh. Wanted to go some different directions for the fold. But I didn't let it. I said, nope, you gotta go this way. All right. So then we'll just fold it together. When it's all folded in force, that's how it's gonna lay. So you make sure to do your burnishing when it's at this point. So this is gonna be my front, I think. Am I gonna go stripes in the front? Yeah, what the heck. In the end, you're gonna be able to see every single side of this paper. Don't you love that? Okay. So we'll do this corner. Is that a good corner? Then we'll do this corner. This one was still a little bit wide. Okay, fine, I'll save them. Don't, don't worry. Uh, I know you were really worried, right? So this is my front, which means I think this is the one that I cut. I mean, either one you cut, it's gonna work. Oh, I didn't cut that really on the middle, so I'm just gonna trim that off a smidge. Sometimes you need to do that. You just kind of wing it. Cut a little sliver off if you need it. Okay, so here's the front. And then you can flip up. You can flip open. You can take this guy, pull him around like that. So he's gonna actually flip up this way, right? We've got this little situation. Oh, I really like that piece right there and this piece. But it's super easy. You just, you, you bring it in half. I think I decided my new trick is going to cut off a sliver of this right at the fold. That way I don't, I don't keep going back and measuring it for that sliver. Yeah, that's much better. This one is really wide, but I kind of, I really like it. Well, you can see a lot of stripes on this direction. I hope that's the way I want it. So the back will be like that. But this one, when you open it, it'll be all flavorful that way. Okay, <laughs> flavorful. I think I'm gonna go with this piece right here. I'll trim off the, these kind of stick out. I usually don't do one this wide, but I just want to, so. Let me just trim it off right now. Before I get too far, too far into this. I just don't want to glue parts that I don't need to glue. Here we go. And I just do belly band style on these. Okay, so it's going to be this way and that'll make the butterfly this way. Just got nice little 
pocket in there. I'm not going to test it out before the glue dries. I know that I, I, I do that a lot, but not this time. Oh, no. <laughs> not me. <laughs> and we need a little cluster for the front. Bring out your clusters. Now we can probably go with one of these smaller-ish ish ones. Those are still a little, little smidgy. Some strange ones in here. I don't know if strange is how we're going, wanting to go, but well, that's really bright. Look at these colors today. I don't. I think that might be not quite the direction I want to go, and that is the wrong direction, literally. What about this? I don't know. It's, it's a bit much. This is like a really plain one. I kind of like it. I wonder, I'm thinking I might just add that and then put add a little butterfly to the top. Let's do that. Let's find a little butterfly. A blue one, maybe. Put it off to the side. Yeah, that's pretty cute. These colors are really bright. They're bright, but that's all right. Sometimes you just are going with bright. And that's fine. Should we do another one of these on here? It's, I just feel like it's too wide. I'm going to cut off this strip. Yeah. I didn't have to use these, but it's just really convenient, especially if you've got some, some cute paper. Yeah. A little, I don't know, like a little slidey tag in here somewhere. I think that one's too big. They're all too big. Too big. Too much. <sighs> I need one without a top on it. And shorter. I don't know if I have any small enough right now. A little tag inside of a tag. with the smallest one. There we go. Got one in there. Sometimes you just need to find one. <laughs> Whatever that means. Okay. I do have smaller tags. Oh. Why didn't you grab those? I don't know. And then I would put a little notebook here, which I'm not entirely sure I'm going to do right now. Something right there. We need a little fabric or something. We could do blue. Blue would be kind of crazy. On this. Tone down the, all the orangishness. Or embrace it. What should we do? Hmm. That's something. I don't know if I'm going to be able to just do the side on it. <laughs> Stuttering today. Let's see. Oh, okay. I didn't consider that, but now I am, and I like it. Now, which piece do I want to use? It's a little longer than I wanted. Let's try this. Yeah. Woo. Oh, my glues are drunk again today nothing to do with me and my coordination. No, no, no. I don't know where you get that idea. Okay. There we go. Yeah, I like that. That's very nice. There's a whole lot of color going on in here. I could make the world's tiniest 
little belly band tuck. I think it would work. There's no reason why that wouldn't work. Or maybe it would come flying off of there. No, this glue's pretty, pretty heavy duty. I suppose I could put little cross. I don't think it's going to need it, though, honestly. I just don't think it will. Where's my little tags? I know I have, little, oh, here it is. Okay, smaller tag. Let's give that a whirl. These are all like super intense colors. Okay, that's nice. That turned out really cute. And then I would add a little notebook in there too. Whoa, what happened? <laughs> Glued it down onto itself. You just stay there for a while until, until you're all set. Okay, now let's try this. Let's try this one. So with this one, I really think we'll just figure out the width of our tag because the height will be fine. So this will be the width. Maybe we'll pull out our, our small ruler and use that as a burnishing tool. Oh, yes, yes, yes. That works out Not quite nicely. Let's see here. Of course, this is not going to work. It's too small. But that's okay. Ooh, tools. Give them a whirl. I'm going to try this. Get my ruler. Get my craft knife. Got my cutting cutting mat. And then we're just gonna go right along there. It's gonna be great. And we're gonna slide this up so we get it all on the cutting mat. My 12 by 12 is a little shorter than my than my mat. So for this one, we just have a big scrap. We'll just keep that scrap, that's fine. And then we'll fold it like so. Use our burnishing tool. I can use my finger, but it really works better with the tool. This metal side is not, not a great idea. Okay, so that's how it's gonna lay. Now we can do our corners. We'll do some big ones. Oof. Serious business. Oh. See how my pieces look. Not that exciting. This one's kind of nice. But just a little exciting. You can go on the scrap then. It'll be fine. All right, so now we have this. Will be our front. That means I would like this piece to be trimmed. I'm just gonna cut it on the fold like so. I'm not gonna cut it down the middle. That way, I'm, look at me learning as I go. That way, I won't have any extra bits. So I'll just give you another show of that. So this is kind of what you end up with. You fold it all back together. Wait, this is the front, I think. That goes this way. <laughs> After all that time, I was so I was doing so well. Front, and then flip up, and then open up like a book, and then you have another flip up, like so. That is a really isn't that a slick project? It really is. Super duper. So that was just another base. Uh, maybe we'll find a little cluster. We'll find a little cluster. I'm gonna show you a cluster I made. It's not gonna work for this project, I don't think, but. Is that ever cute? Oh, I made that one the other day. It's so cute. <laughs> well, that would be different. So grungy fish. Mm, too much. Oh, I'm, I like this one too. The little horse. Those are all my fabric ones. Those are Roxy Creations inspired. That really matches really well, doesn't it? I feel like that would go with a lot of things. Let's glue it down. I do feel like it might need something else, like a butterfly or a big 
beautiful flower, something. Mayhaps, or a lovely lady. Just something right in there. I'm going, it's gonna be a butterfly kind of day, I decided. That's what kind of day it's gonna be. Ooh, that's a moth. Too big, you're too big. Bring it in, reel it in. Well, I didn't really think about that, but, hmm. It's not bad. Something about it, I'm not sure. Maybe some inking around the edge. Sometimes all you need is a little, little distress ink. Oh, whoa, intense. Or a lot uh, today, apparently. I guess there's this is a, a new ink pad to me, anyway, and it's very juicy. That's a whole lot of juicy, but good. Okay, let's do the edge then. This is how this one's gonna go. Ooh, that's intense. Nice. Well, that's wonderful. Oh yeah. yeah. I had a lady look at me really weird the other day because I was, I didn't know she was like walking behind me. I was walking to the mailbox and it's, it's, you have to walk through the neighborhood to get to the mailbox. And <laughs> I didn't know she was behind me. And I had like, uh, my Bella was with me and she was being kind of weird. She just kept walking all kinds of which ways and we, we had a mission, we were, we had a goal, and she was not, not into it. She was just wanting to go wherever. And so we were way behind, Amy and Eric were like way ahead of us. Oh, it's kind of fun. I wonder if I do this. Uh, so anyway, this, I didn't know this lady was behind me. And, and of course I'm in Wisconsin. <laughs> and it just fell into like my mom thing when she would like yell at us or something <laughs> she's I said what in tarnation <laughs> with like a very severe southern accent and because my mother has a southern accent and uh, the lady she passed me and she gave me a really a fun side glance <laughs> I was like oh hi <laughs> didn't know you were there <laughs> yeah That's just really different, but good. Different and good. Squish that in. There we go. Yeah, they're kind of neat, or they just kind of, they just kind of stick up a little. Well, that was a different direction than I thought I was gonna go. But sometimes things just come together and they just, become what they need to become, I guess. So flip and flip, very cool. So we made within 33 minutes, this was the demo, so I, that one doesn't really count, but we made some really cute, these are surprisingly fast for how like kind of complex they are. I'm really into this, into this project. So. We, uh, this is definitely a retreat one. So, uh, if you are interested in kind of crafting along this weekend with us, you can just follow these retreat make and takes, and those will be the things that we'll be doing and kind of in the order we are doing them. Not kind of, they will be in the, in that order. <laughs> and of course, all my retreat folks, these are just kind of there to, to, you know, show them what we're going to be working on ahead of time so that, you know, we don't waste time trying to figure out how to make stuff. We're just gonna be making, 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 and laughing and having a great time. So I'm getting so excited. They're, they're a whole lot of fun. So, all right. Well, if you're interested in seeing some of the things that I have to offer, 
on my coffee shop. I do have an Etsy shop still. All the links are in the description below if you ever want to send me an email. My email is also in uh, the description below. And as always, thanks for coming along and I'll talk to you later.